What's going on guys, welcome to the video. Got a short one here featuring the Labour MP Andy MacDonald, who appeared on the BBC Politics live show earlier today in an attempt to promote the Labour Party ready for the upcoming election campaign after MPs finally voted last night to hold a snap general election on December 12th. So get ready to drain that swamp. Once again though, in true Labour fashion, this Labour MP only served to make himself look rather stupid with his comments about uniting the country if they get in power. Now I'm going to play a bit of the lead up to Andy's clip for context, so let's check it out. Now I'm going to play a short clip beforehand that explains why Andy McDonald made these comments. So let's check it out. On, on that, Nobody on, believes on, that anymore. On that point, it isn't an unqualified good news story for the Conservatives just on Brexit when they have also blown their October 31st deadline. Well, absolutely. And I think you know, there was this big discussion about will not meeting that deadline hurt Boris Johnson. Actually, what you see in the polls, again, take them with a pinch of salt. Let's learn the lessons okay. from the last few elections. But you do see Johnson. This is why I think Labour and the Lib Dems should be worried. You see Johnson unifying the Leave vote in a bigger way than Corbyn or the Lib Dems are unifying the Remain vote. And the simple reality is if the Remain vote is split at, at the level of constituencies, Johnson doesn't need any more votes because he'll just win a majority based on that more uh, based on that existing Conservative vote and unifying the Leavers. And that's the really big strategic we've got dilemma to bring this. Right, let me just stop that there quickly, because what he said is at least partially correct. Now, like an idiot, I forgot this guy's name, but it's not really relevant anyway. He is trying to explain to Andy MacDonald that Boris Johnson is maintaining his lead in the polls, even though there has been another Brexit delay, because as I've said before, the Remainer MPs in Parliament have been so blatant in their attempts to stop Brexit that it's now plain to see that it is Parliament against the people. Boris doesn't even need to push that narrative too hard anymore because they've done it themselves. And as the guy rightly said, the Remain vote is split right now. But when he claims Boris Johnson has unified the Leave vote, it's only true to a certain point. It's not completely true since a lot of voters want a no deal Brexit and Boris so far is not man enough to deliver that and possibly never will be. But I will give it to this guy, he has unified a chunk of Leave voters who are not completely balls deep in the Brexit debate, like those who follow it on a daily basis. Which is all he really needs, as the panellist points out. The Remainers are going to give Boris Johnson what he needs based on the long established Tory vote. Because Labour and the Lib Dems are power hungry right now. Joe Swinson cannot afford to give Labour a helping hand since they both want the same outcome via different means. And Jo Swinson may even lose her own seat to the SNP at this next election. So can hardly focus on helping Labour or even put in Remain first. She is going to be fighting tooth and nail just for the right to return to Parliament. And as everybody knows, the Corbinated Chicken is unelectable without record postal votes. Not only because he's a complete imbecile, but because the Labour Party is full of other complete imbeciles, as you will see in a moment. Andy MacDonald speaking on TV is not going to help Labour's cause with the Labour Leave voter or those who voted Remain but were Democratic Labour supporters. You know, the type that are not Ramona scum like the Momentum activists and Owen Joneses of this world. In fact, Labour MPs going on TV will just help Boris Johnson and the Brexit party get more seats. As will, of course, the Lib Dem's desperation for as many MPs as possible so they can feel relevant. Both Ramona parties hunger for power will install Boris Johnson, likely with a nice majority, and that will also help the Brexit party stake a claim in Parliament with any sort of luck. Now, let's see Andy MacDonald's ridiculous plan to unite the Leave and remain voters that even brings a chuckle out of the Tory MP sat beside him. Country together, remain and leave yeah, but voters. but how do you appeal to leave voters, Because Andy? you address the issues that they face on a daily basis, the massive underinvestment in their public services Brexit. and the private... You, we're putting that back to the people. Let the people decide. Have trust in the people. They will have the final say. Will that convince Labour leave voters? <laughs> <laughs> I really do love the moment the Tory MP sits there completely emotionless, shaking his head at this out-of-touch idiot, who actually thinks Leave voters will ignore the fact 
we still have not left the EU. If you address the issues Labour think the people of this country really care about. When the last three years has shown, clowns like this tosspot don't have a clue what the country thinks and only serve themselves. Imagine being that stupid you think it's a good idea to go on TV and say you will unite the Leave voters by holding a second referendum. Just take in the level of stupidity that statement actually contained. Screw Diane Abbott, she don't hold a candle to old Andy McDonald here. I mean, I have heard politicians say some stupid things in my time, but at this stage of the situation, with Labour's current polling numbers, you would think these Labour MPs would be more careful about what they say. But oh no, as with Owen Smith yesterday and Diane Abbott a few days before, Andy has decided to go balls to the wall and literally further alienate anyone who voted leave from the Labour Party, if that's even possible. Do Labour not want to get elected or something? Each time I have seen them in interviews recently, they have only served to dig their own grave deeper and deeper. I mean, I'm not complaining, it's awesome watching them self-destruct, but I really didn't expect them to go scorched earth on themselves. I guess that is what happens when you're led by a snivelling shit weasel like the carbonated chicken. And the people just below you have the brain power of a wet fart like Andy McDonald here. I would say it's unbelievable, but to be honest with you, nothing is unbelievable at this stage. Well, I'm going to end the video there anyway, guys. Like I said, it was just a short one to cover this gem from the Politics Live Show. I want to thank the channel's PayPal, Patreon and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I will see you all in the next one. This parliament is a dead parliament. It should no longer sit. It has no moral right to sit on these green benches. They don't like the truth. Twice they have been asked to let the electorate decide upon whether they should continue to sit in their seats while they block 17.4 million people's votes. This parliament is a disgrace. But they're too cowardly to give it up. But the time is coming. The time is coming, Mr. Speaker when even these turkeys won't be able to prevent Christmas. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.